Yeah, Brittany and Goldston, Assemblymember Mike Gibson is demanding change, saying Sacramento County is in violation of state law, the Foster Youth Bill of Rights, by placing children in the former juvenile detention center. Now, after watching our investigation, he says he is now taking his fight to protect children to the County Board of Supervisors, the Attorney General, and the Governor. Wow. Claiming the girl was abused and exploited while staying This is heartbreaking. That's Assemblymember Mike Gibson reacting to the KCRA 3 investigation on foster care children housed in the Warren E. Thornton Juvenile Detention Center and the lawsuit filed against the County Department of Child, Family and Adult Services on behalf of a teenage girl claiming sex traffickers have access to children at the facility. We can find shelters for dogs who will come into homes and people would take those, those animals and, and give them and roll out the red carpet. You mean to tell me we can't find a placement for children in this county? The children live in cells like this one, shown to KCRA during a tour in 2018, before the juvenile center was shut down. The county says the cells are never locked. It creates the impression possibly that they you know, that that's where they belong, they're locked up. Larry Fluharty is the foster care ombudsperson and made an unannounced visit last year. After seeing the living conditions, he informed the county it's violating the rights of foster youth and operating without a license. The setting is, is going to lead to more problems and uh, they need to really, I think, dig down and go back to their original idea, which is to have a home-based model and see if they can make that work. Gibson helped write the Foster Youth Alfred Bill of Rights, a state law. The government has violated its own rules and regulation that governs how we're supposed to treat um, our, 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 our California promise, our young people, and there should be consequences. All right, so obviously people are listening. We've got people's attention. What's next? Okay, well, the county has applied for a temporary license to keep children placed at the former jail, but Gibson says he will do whatever he can to make sure that does not happen, and then he also wants the facility shut down. Fluharty says his office wants the county to come up with a solution before they can actually close down the center. Otherwise, he says the children really wouldn't have anywhere to go and they could become homeless, so they need that facility set up before they can take them out of that old jail. Mm -hmm. A lot of moving parts with this mm -hmm. and action and, and a lot of people outraged after seeing your story. So we know that you'll stay on top of this, Michelle. Definitely. Thank you so much.